Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Perfect Cherry Blossom. This is the real fourth episode this time. Uh, so at the end of stage four we sort of flew over the barrier between Gensokyo and the netherworld. And now going to actually explore the netherworld. Uh, stage five is quite short but definitely on the intense side. At least at times. Sort of alternates between very calm periods and periods where you have to know where the fairies spawn and kill them very quickly. Uh, we're climbing some huge staircase going to the shrine of Akujoko. Where we're going to meet with our final boss. Uh, I really don't like this part and it's almost an autobahn you could say. Ha. Anyway, uh, now this is one part where you really want to be in control. Not like what I'm doing. Right, right, right. Notice that in this stage 2 there's very, well there's a really huge amount of point items. Means, which means more life at the end, more lives. I don't really know how to do that part, but it sort of works. Ah, it was too slow there. Ah, it's fine. Here's our mid boss. Uh, she, she will also be the boss of this stage, so let's not talk too much about her for now. Uh, I really, really hate her non spells though. Just covers the whole screen with bullets. Ah! Late bomb. Ah! Spell card. So, this is this boss's gimmick. She. She slows time. And, and basically, while time is slowed down, you want to go through the bullets and hope that you don't get surprised when it gets fast again. Uh, walled here. And one up. Right, I do have loads and loads and loads of life. Uh, this is streaming. Standard streaming. This, however, isn't. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do this part. It's sort of safer at the bottom right, I think. But you want to kill the other fairies. Ha, just bomb it. <coughs> Still climbing that huge staircase. And here's our boss again, Yormu. She's a half ghost. I have no idea how this works, but there you have it. She's the gardener of Hakugyokuro and the personal servant of the final boss, which we'll meet later. Uh, a quite a hard stage 5 boss. I especially find her non-spells difficult, even though you can, there's some sort of trick to utterly destroy at least the first one and the one we had back in the mid-boss fight. And all, almost all the spells revolve around time slowing down at times and they're hard. However, yeah, they're hard, you could say hard, but it's sort of a test of confidence. If you really think you can do it and try to find the spaces between those bullets during the slow motion, then you can beat her. I, I, I think I've actually managed to do a perfect fight once. Uh, but I really don't have the confidence right now, so I probably end up bombing a lot. Not that there's any shame in doing that. Those non-spells are aimed, well, rather than aimed based on your position. But, what, what was that? <laughs> Just get over! Stupid attack. I haven't really practiced enough this enough, haven't have I? First card, God's Flashing Slash. So, similar concept and the previous attack we had. And here I have a border, so I just go. Ah! 
su got surprised by the time getting fast again. But at least saved my resources. Second non spell is a pain. I sort of want to hint like this. Wow. Yes, yes. Yes. Good. Worldly attachment. A uh, very strange attack. I don't really know what you're supposed to do. The way it works is that the bullets which are under her sort of redirect in your direction. But uh, fail. I just sort of failed here. Now comes the fun attack. And slightly easier, thankfully. Eternal truth. It's more or less streaming with lots of bullets coming from underneath you. If you keep anticipating, it shouldn't be too hard. Don't forget to change direction this time. Yeah, <laughs> at least I beat one attack. And the last one, components of Kompaku. Kompaku being Yomi's last name. Uh, still same principle, find those... Oh, what? Find those holes. I really thought my hitbox was small enough here, but I guess it wasn't. Um, and should be pretty much over now. And there we have it. That was a train wreck. That was a train wreck. Uh, since I have a bit of time, let's start with the sixth stage right now. Uh, let's let's at least do the mid boss. I let you guess who the mid boss for that stage is. Follows the same pattern as the last game. Uh, stage six starts sort of like stage five, but soon evolves into something much crazier. This. This is your usual pure spam. I'm very glad that I have a border here. Because it definitely made it more do- Ah, oh, still had to bomb. Uh, yeah, mid boss is back. This, however, is much easier than what we had earlier. Because this non-spell is actually pretty trivial. If you just get into the spaces, there's really nothing to fear. And a spell card, Ageless Obsession. This is completely static. Once you've learned it, it's just a matter of reprodu re reproducing the exact saving movements. And there. Simple enough. And it's going to be the final boss fight. I'm going to leave that for the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching and join me very soon, I guess. See you.